Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by and I'm doing a video today to let you know that I'm participating in a collaboration hosted by Bourbon Creek Crafts and um, this collaboration name is, I'm sorry I don't have it right in front of me, um, the 2020 Crafty Christmas Collab and there are a lot of great participants. We all participated last year and it was so much fun and I thank you Beth for allowing me and asking me to uh, see if I wanted to join again this year. I really appreciate it and it was so much fun. So this year the, uh, the collaboration um, requirements are that we have to pick one paper pad. Now we do not have to use that pad fully but we do have to use the pad for all of our projects and we'll be having four weeks of projects um, and they're, 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 they're different Christmas projects throughout November and we will be uploading our videos on Wednesdays and that is at 8 a.m. I mean 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time okay I'll have to figure out what time that is um, Central Standard because I don't know it might be 7 or it might be 9 I, I get confused but I'll figure it out um, and we will only be posting um, project videos. In other words, we won't project shares. We won't be sharing um, a tutorial with the collaboration. Now, we, we some of us may choose to add process videos and things um, on our channel separately. But if we do, we will do that um, um, aside from the collab um, because we want everyone to be able to watch all the videos in the collaboration. So we're trying to keep our videos down to a to a minimum amount of minutes um, so let's see yeah it's crafty Christmas collab 2020 and um, this is just a video introduction that's all it is and okay so let me show you the pad that I have chosen to use I got this pad last year when Michaels put on their hot bag Christmas pads and I really really I wanted the vintage and it went really quickly in my store um, so I wasn't able to to get it but I did get this one it's called Gilded Berry now it is beautiful colors but it's very traditional okay and if you know me you know that I am not traditional in colors but when you look at the paper pad and you see the the, the beautiful um, papers and patterns that you get I really thought well okay I can do something with that so that is why I chose this pad because you all know me I would have chosen something pink or something in um, silver or blue uh, the, the frost blue to to work on but I am going out of my comfort zone and using a pad that I bought and have not done anything with so that's what this collaboration is about for me so again here's the front and I will bring that up closer okay and then I will show I'm gonna flip through just a few of them um, the ones that are really special but you know you get a you get this mauve pattern and then you get a gold stripe then you get this mercury paper I'm not sure what it's called, but y'all know it looks like mercury glass, what have you. Um, and then, look at this. I mean, it's just beautiful. Let me see if I can adjust the lighting so it's not a glare for y'all. Like that. Okay, there's that. And then, I mean, it's just really pretty paper. And I think there's a lot of uses for it. There, that's not a lot of big pattern that you can't really do anything with it's all very small very usable for cards for tags for anything this is a beautiful paper that one I love um, so and then this is your strips which I think are really beautiful I think they're gonna go so nicely with the projects that I have planned um, and then you have your cut aparts now I'm not sure if I'll be using any of those because I don't know if I'm going to be making any cards. I haven't decided yet. I've, I've got two of the four projects in mind and the rest will just come to me when I get to it. Unfortunately, I'm not, I'm not as 
uh, thought out as I should be, I'm sure, but it seems to work. This one's really pretty. You can cut these out. Wouldn't that be nice to use as ephemera? Okay, and then we do have a couple of these pages here with just the, the solid page with one design on it. But, um, yeah, that's about, that's about the extent of my pad. Um, like I said, there's not a lot of huge pattern on it, so that's why I chose this one. Because I felt like it was something that I could use and make all kinds of things from. So, I'm not going to go over with you what my projects will be, but I will show you some of the tools that I may use. I, I have the tear guides for the We Are Memory Keepers tear guides, and I also have, and this will give you a hint, the, uh, the bag maker. So, the, of course, you all know that I cannot make a bag to save my life, but this is a helpful tool for me. So, um, I think that's it, y'all. Um, this is my crafty space. I did try very hard this morning to clean it up for everyone because I knew I had to do this video. But, yeah, I'm sure it will be rearranged again and again and again and even again. So, with that said, thanks, y'all, for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye now.